this episode of the vlog, I'm talking about some of my favorite New York City vloggers. Now, I live in New York City, uh, but I wouldn't consider myself a New York City vlogger because I talk about social media and other things. I rarely actually talk about being here in New York City, but I love watching New York City vloggers talking about what it's like to live and work and be here in New York City. And so this is my top 10 list of my favorite New York City vloggers. So when it comes to vlogs in New York City, you're probably thinking about the one that I am. When it comes to the number one vlog uh, in New York City, it's the godfather of vlogging, and that's Casey Neistat. Casey has set the bar when it comes to vlogging, uh, and he has set a path, and he has created a model, and, and his vlogs never get old. I cannot wait for every new episode, uh, and you're probably like me with that. If, He's got such popularity, and when it comes to New York City vloggers, there's no one better than Casey Neistat. If you haven't watched Casey Neistat, stop watching this video right now and go watch Casey. The second New York City vlogger that I encourage you to check out, if you're not already aware of them, is Living Bobby. Uh, Bobby's YouTube channel is so creative. Uh, he's always doing challenges here in the city. He does some travel vlogging, but does, does a lot here. He's actually done some really interesting vlogs of looking at what an inexpensive apartment can look like in New York City, uh, where people often assume how, how expensive it is to live here. He does challenges of how, how inexpensively can you live here or stay here or eat here. And so living in New York City for free for a day or for a dollar a day, some fascinating vlogs, really creative vlogs. And I love his hustle, his creativity. Uh, so go check out Living Bobby. The third vlogger that I want to encourage you to check out is Brett Conti. Uh, Brett used to actually be a roommate of Living Bobby, and so it's fun to watch their journey together. And as their channels have grown here, uh, Brett is a skater, a skateboarder, has his own clothing line, uh, does some really interesting things. He loves bubble tea like me. Um, and so I love watching Brett Conti's videos of what it's like to live here in New York City, what it's like to be an entrepreneur here in the city. And so some really interesting insights into the city and a lot of fun of just watching somebody just living the day-to-day -day life here in New York City. The fourth vlogger that, that I love watching is who I tell my daughter is the older version of her and that's Sarah Dietschy rhymes with Peachy. Uh, Sarah's vlog is really creative. It's really fun. She's got a space in 368 Broadway. Uh, she's done a lot of collabs with Gary Vee and Casey Neistat. Uh, she's organized a lot of creative communities here in New York City and she's a really insightful uh, creator uh, with her vlog of what it's like to live in New York City, what it's like to work in New York City, what it's like to kind of do startup in New York City, creating an office, uh, editing, so there's a lot of tech videos, talks about her boosted boards, really interesting channel, a lot of fun, a lot of diversity within the content she's creating uh, and I love how she empowers other creatives and so I'm always showing my daughter of look at this as a model uh, for, for how to be a creator here in New York City and how to maximize the energy and the creativity that lives in this city and then how to, how to create content out of that. So Sarah Dietschy's vlog is fantastic. Go check it out. The fifth vlogger I want to highlight is Sarah Dietschy's boyfriend, John Hill. Uh, John Hill also has a space in 368. Uh, John Hill is also a skateboarder. Uh, John Hill's channel is fantastic. He's very creative. He's sharing the story of starting a skate park in New York City. And so it's fascinating. He has not yet created the skate park. So you can join in now and follow his journey into doing that. Um, and so he's had a really interesting journey into creating and maximizing YouTube, uh, always creating different kinds of content from skateboarding uh, to just life in the city, uh, life in general, uh, and the business side of now getting getting collaborations and, and getting sponsors and figuring out how do you create a skate park. And so it's fascinating to watch his journey and the content he's creating. So I highly recommend John Hill's YouTube channel. The sixth is one of the most popular here in the city. And if you do a lot of searches, this individual's channel has really climbed to the top of a lot of different searches, especially when it comes to real estate. And that's Eric Conover. Uh, Eric's channel is really uh, creative. It's really well produced. Um, and so he does a lot of travel tips. And so if you're looking for tips as a, as a tourist coming into the city, but then he does a lot of really interesting collaborations uh, when it comes to real estate, showing a lot of high end real estate as well as affordable real estate to know people always want to know how expensive is it to live in New York City? Um, and, and, and is it really practical? And so he shares even his small apartment and what that's like, and then some big apartments and and so you really get multiple angles of New York City through Eric's eyes. He also has some travel vlogs he puts out. Great content. 
uh, always interesting and always really well produced. And so one of the things I love about what's happening on YouTube is it's not just people with a smartphone throwing stuff, capturing stuff and throwing it on YouTube. Uh, it's people really putting a lot of time and energy into capturing and creating and producing really high quality content. And Eric's channel does just that. The seventh YouTuber I want to highlight is somebody that I've just started watching and that's Sarah Funk. Uh, now Sarah gives tons of great travel tips for those coming to the city. And so if you're looking for insights of what to do in Bryant Park or what to do in lower Manhattan uh, or some tips of how to how to have a, a day at the park or watch a movie or inexpensive things to do here in the city uh, Sarah's got a ton of practical tips really great insights she's almost like your tour guide to New York City so if you're thinking about vacationing here in New York City Sarah's channel is one you'll want to check out and spend an hour or two just watching a lot of her video and her content uh, it's really fun uh, it's really insightful and it's really very practical so for tours coming to New York City you'll want to check out Sarah's channel the eighth person in the eighth channel uh, that I encourage you to watch is Cody Jensen uh, now Cody and his wife Sarah vlogged their journey of moving to New York City, basically selling everything from their house and then moving into a tiny apartment uh, in lower Manhattan. And so they've got a really fun journey of really fun stories. So you can go back and watch their journey moving from Oklahoma. And so we have, having moved from Texas here to New York City, know that journey of we, we had built a big house and sold everything and moved uh, to a small apartment here on the Upper East Side. Uh, Cody and Sarah did the same thing on the lower side of Manhattan. And so it's fun to watch their journey, fun to watch uh, their experiences in the city as they go out to Roosevelt Island or, the, or Governor's Island and different parts of the city and the parades. And uh, it's always fun to see their journey and what adventures they go on each week. And so they share that uh, in a really creative way. And Cody is a really uh, great video producer. And so the quality of the content, I, I love just even watching his B-roll content and all of his footage. And so you will enjoy, if you enjoy the city and you want to see what it's like just to walk uh, on a daily basis through the city and experience the city uh, through somebody who moved here over the last year and a half through their eyes uh, that channel is a great channel to watch and experience through so the ninth person I want to highlight here is Sam Sheffer you've probably seen Sam if you watch any Casey Neistat's videos as he does a lot of stuff at 368 he's got a studio there or space there um, and he's always doing a lot of stuff about tech and tech reviews and boosted boards and really insightful as somebody who as I enjoy tech uh, and then enjoy watching somebody who's hustling their way through New York City and, and building their audience Sam has done a great job in engaging an audience on YouTube in a really creative way and so I encourage you to check out Sam's YouTube channel. In the 10th and the last channel that I want to highlight is my friend, my dude, Willie Morris. Uh, he, he's become a friend over the last couple of years or probably four years ago is when I, I first met Willie as he was working with Gary Vaynerchuk. He has had an incredible journey of moving to New York City, starting a company, selling a company, and now doing all kinds of exciting entrepreneurial adventures. And he has vlogged his way through it. Um, and so it's been fun to watch him. Willie is a, also a great video producer, but 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 a really good storyteller. Um, and it's fun to see his eyes of coming to New York City, starting a company, and now recently getting married and, and living here in the city and starting a lot of new ventures. And he shares it all very publicly uh, on his YouTube channel. And so his channel is one of my favorites. I don't miss an episode uh, that Willie uploads and I get excited every time I get the, the little subscribe notification that he's got a new video. And so I started with Casey and I ended with Willie on, on purpose because those are the two channels uh, that I primarily watch on a regular basis. And then the others are, are kind of in that subscribe feed where I'm always paying attention to as well. There are so many great vloggers and I couldn't, I could go on the list, could add another 10 quickly and easily. But those are my top 10 favorites. If I missed any, let me know. Comment below some of your other favorite New York City vloggers or maybe some of your vloggers outside of New York City. Uh, but but I really have enjoyed as a New York City resident, uh, while I'm not a New York City vlogger and that my content is not related to New York City, I love being a part of the community here and interacting with several of these individuals that are creating such good content about the city and for you uh, if you're coming to New York City or just want to experience the city through somebody that is living here. Uh, so I'm so excited about all the contents being created. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the vlog. If you would hit the subscribe button, it would mean the world to me and I add new content on a weekly basis. And so I would love for you to see that future content or go back and watch some of the old videos where I talk a lot about social media and new technology and how I can help you accomplish your goals through social media. I appreciate it letting me be your social media guide.